Hey guys, this is Steph from Daz, and today I'm gonna to take you through how to leverage the Daz to Unreal Bridge. In this tutorial, we're going to run through one, how to install Daz to Unreal Bridge. Two, how to bring the Daz content to the Unreal Engine. And three, how to set up the character with the Unreal Character Blueprint. Okay, let's get started. First, let's open Daz Central and log in. Now let's make sure we have installed the latest version of Unreal. It should be version 4.25.3. Now go back to DAS Central and let's navigate to the top navigation bar and click on plugins. Okay, now let's locate the DAS to Unreal Bridge. If you don't see it immediately, you can also leverage the search function. Let's click install. You will then be prompted to select a path. First, let's make sure we select Unreal Engine version 4 and then click select path. And now let's link it to the same location where your Unreal program lives. Once you've done that, click done. Now let's launch the Unreal application. The Unreal Engine provides you with a lot of templates for creating projects. And I'm going to select the game template. And then the third person template. I'm going to name my project. And then I'm going to hit create project. Now let's go to settings and then plugins. Make sure you locate the DAS to Unreal and click the box next to Enabled. And then it'll prompt you to restart the engine. Click Restart Now. Now let's open DAS Studio and create our ideal character. I'm going to create a pirate. And with our drag and drop simplicity, you can double click on assets and drag them to your character for quick creation. Okay, once we've created our character, let's go to the top right corner and make sure our character is selected. Then go to File in the top navigation bar and click Send To and then DAS to Unreal. You will have the option to enable morph targets. You can also choose specific morphs that you want to export as well. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to turn that off and hit Accept. And then the import to Unreal will begin. So once you're in Unreal, go to the content browser and select DAS to Unreal content. If you don't see this content right away, go to view options in the bottom right hand corner and make sure you have show plugin content and show engine content selected. Once you've done that and you've located the folder, open the Genesis base skeleton. Now let's make sure the skeleton has the humanoid rig. Go to modify pose in the bottom of the window and then we're going to select the Genesis 8 humanoid pose. And then I'm going to click import. All right, let's also make sure we save it. It's looking pretty good. Now let's navigate out to the Unreal Engine mannequin files. We need to be able to retarget his animations onto the character. So go to mannequin in the bottom left hand corner, then select the character folder, then the mesh folder, and then click on his skeleton. Let's click on select rig, then select humanoid rig, and then save. Once you've done that, Go to animations in the bottom left hand corner, then select the third person Anna BP. Right click and then select retarget animation. Now click on Genesis 8 base skeleton and click retarget. Perfect! Our character now has animations retargeted from the Unreal Engine mannequin. Now let's go to the viewport and select our character. Let's replace the skeleton with our Daz character. Then let's change the animation class to the third person animation blueprint. And then when we hit play, you'll see that the Daz character has inherited all of the animations from the Unreal Engine mannequin. So now you're ready to continue creating with the Daz product in Unreal. Thanks for listening.